Yes, yeah, so welcome to the white carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Gladys Osei Oredo, and as usual, we give you what you look forward to for the entire week, bunched into one right here on the white carpet on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Gladys Osei Oredo, and the white carpet is proudly brought to you by Airtel and supported by Optimal Hair Relaxer. When we take a breather and we come back, Tonight, we, we have KKD who is still apologizing to the public uh, for the wrongful act that was charged against him. Well, the alleged rape that uh, he, according to him, was a mutual understanding. He's still apologizing for that. And of course, he's also been talking about the fact that uh, how, how it affected his brand as KKD. But you know, there's something you need to find out, which we will show you right here on the white carpet. The fact that KKD still got his swag on and he still does his dance moves and he still, I mean, he, he has his swag on. You can see the heart and all. Right. And guess what? Shatawale and Samini seem to be coming with some kind of a union. Um, well, the two seem to be coming together to give us a shat, shat, okay, no, so. Uh, would I say sh Shamini? Maybe I should say Shamini. Shatawale Shamini coming together to give us a Shamini kind of blend of dance hall chills. Uh, after all the dissing, after all the uh, backfiring and all that, the two be looking forward to whatever track they will be dropping in the industry and how successful that will be. Of course, we will talk about that here on the white carpet. As I said, Etel proudly brings you the white carpet and supported by Optimal Hair Relaxer. <laughs> The White Carpet is brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network. If you have just tuned in, this is The White Carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV. The number you can always channel through your comments, contributions, views, opinions is 0267844. 024 quickly what's up to us what you think of the show of the issues uh whatever contribution you want to make and we will gladly share that with you here on the white carpet and of course i i told you earlier on in the week we caught up with kkd who is still apologizing he's still very apologetic for the fleeting pleasure of the flesh that uh he had with Erefi orleans thompson and he says that well uh, no matter what people may have sought to use to destroy him and, and the career and his career, his brand as KKD, well, though the issue had an impact on him, he still has is bouncing back and he will forever remain KKD, that brand that he built. I would say I'm sorry, first and foremost, to everybody mm -hmm. who feels offended that a grown man has had carnal relations with a young woman who by law in our country is above the age to be lawfully married. To all those who are offended, I say I'm sorry. Whilst people were seeking to destroy me, what hurt me is that people were seeking to destroy a young lady who had gone and done whatever she wants to do in private. And had come to about it in public. And now, are trying to use her to hurt somebody who is above them or who is the same as them or who is below them and trying to destroy her too. If you live the cleanest life or you live the dirtiest life, the one thing people can use to get you down and that you cannot do anything about unless it is tried and you are discharged is a lie of rape. Because it is a story that only two people can speak to. I had to see KK do his Azonto. Boy, man is. I felt angry, but I was fortunate. My young daughter. And, you know, she's a very mature young person, you know. She, she bought her own ticket and flew from London to come down because she said she wanted to accompany me to court. Mm -hmm. she, she, I remember the first time I, my son heard the case, he called me for me and he says, Dad, who's trying to, who, who's trying to blackmail you for money? 
<laughs> you know and she she was there so that was a good thing and i was angry but i was fortunate to have some good people around me dr lawrence tete god bless you god bless you and um i want to say a very very big thank you to Leslie Tex Boabasa as well. God bless you. Reverend C.C. C. Alice, God bless you. Mayor Kojo Bonsu, um, Boating Jemfi, Pajima Jemfi, Kofi Bond of um, El Elyon Hotel, uh, Nana Santi Bediatio, my brother. <laughs> Love you to bits. And Dr. Lawrence Tete told me something which I will never forget. And I want to tell this to everybody. Mm -hmm. Whether you're hating on somebody or loving somebody, the message is for you too. Dr. Lawrence Tete says, Kwesi, I know how you feel. I know you will never be a violent person. I've known you since you were a boy. But there are people around you who may want to be violent and do things to others. Mm -hmm. Tell them all not to do so because if they do, they do it in your name. Mm -hmm. But also, I want you to have a forgiving heart. First, forgive yourself. Because no matter how you put it, you fornicated. So you still have to forgive yourself and seek forgiveness from God. Because yeah. yeah. you fornicated. Yeah. If you have sex with any woman who is not your wife, you fornicated. Yeah. But next, forgive everybody who try to use this act to hurt you. Yeah. Because in forgiving them, they will get their own comeuppance. Some of them have died. Some of them have lost their jobs. Some of them are doing well. I will not say who is where. Well, at the end of the day, what you did was to forgive them, which is definitely what is being preached in the Bible. That's what God says we should do. Before we go, let me finally ask you about how all of this has affected your brand and how you are, you know, picking up. That is a question. That on. is a question that my dear brother Nana Kwesi Suavakwe asked me at church, and I I found the way it was reported quite interesting because you see, if you have a brand, right? All you get is customers of that brand, well-wishers of that brand, and people who just will not buy the brand. Okay. It's either you buy Coca-Cola or you don't. Right. So if you're losing customers to your brand, then it's affected your brand. Now, if your brand has saturated, if it's reached the peak that you cannot add any more, then you reinvent your brand. But by God's grace, I am alive, I am well, and I am thankful and if any brand can say so, I think it's more than any others can so say. It's definitely not a reinvention of the brand, but it's just moving on with the brand as is, right? Aren't you thankful to be alive today? I am absolutely grateful. I am so thankful. Look, do you know how many people have died in the past year? Oh, not to, no, no, we, we, don't, we can't even count. Do you know right how now. many people were lied about in the past year? No, I don't. Do you know how many people had sex with other people's wives in the past year? No, I don't. And how many people had, you know, a carnal relations with people younger or older than me in the past year? Each one of them will give the commentary. But, you know, some of them cannot even comment about me in the presence of their husbands or their, or their wives because they know that they are worse. <laughs> I just love KKD. Seriously, um, the swag, you can't take her. We can't take anything. You can attempt anything. But KKD swag and the dance moves, don't try that one. You waste your time. You waste your energy. You waste precious resources. Try just attempting to take off that swag from KKD, the brand. You know, I love this one where he goes like, my name is Kwesi. Kwesi Chedakwa. <laughs> Forever romantic, yeah? <laughs> All right, so uh, we, we're still having catching up with a lot more of our industry makers, stakeholders. And guess who we caught up with also? Sena de Gadu. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's been telling us how the song uh, Skolum came about. Um, I was sitting with Zeal and, um, and Reggie eating kebabs. And, um, and Zil just took out his phone. We're listening to each other's music because I, um, I hadn't seen them in a while. So this was last year. And Zil took out his phone and played this beat. And I weak. Like I was 
I was instantly totally weak from the beat. And um, and so we were just vibing to it. He started singing the idea for the hook, the hoo doo 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 And um, and then at that moment, like I wrote the first lines for the verse that evening when I went home, I finished the verse and like a few days later, we just went to the studio and vibed on it and just recorded it really quickly because the song is so nice and catchy and infectious that we didn't have to think too much about it. We just did it. Make I enter, make I go ahead And if you know they feel my matter, Charlie, make you go away I know get time, we are just going through the ways So make a bust a lyric, we go enter into your head Kumbaya, oh more fire Allow make the beat just take you higher VVIP ever inspire And you know since NRD never expire Mrs. Skolom, uh-huh Ooh, baby, Skolom Ooh, baby, Scullum. Yeah, we scrollum in it here, right here on the white carpet here. Um, there's also another track in latest video on the block here. Scullum. Okay. <laughs> David Oscar made his first attempt with a reggae tune. And those who had issues had their issues. Those who loved it, loved it. Well, most of no are no more. You can say whatever you want to say, but the guy is just having fun. But trust me, this new video is it's okay. I almost said it's a skulum. <laughs> it will chrome. Uh, okay, so we caught up with him, and he also tells us what actually on earth came over him to come up with that video and the song. My introduction to Ghanaian show business was comedy, you know, uh, but as it stands at the moment, I have found a bigger way of you know shining out my content i think that the message that i carry um, um can be more told if you like musically uh, so that's why and it comes to me naturally for example when i'm writing on a piece of um, you know, reggae rhythm writing a piece of reggae it comes to me naturally writing etc the second one is actually it was just released this morning you know but even before the release i mean the feedback i got from industry professionals who heard it and inputted you know was very encouraging and that only signaled me to keep working harder you know so it's out today um you know my fans out there can go on my wall on facebook or check my instagram account the link is there listen to it and feedback you know because it's for you i mean i need to hear from you so that we can better things as we go along you know so let's see how it performs but it's out as of today yeah now for now i mean music takes the, the bulk of my time you know and if i do not see where i'm going with what i'm doing right now then there's no point starting it so pray with me be my strength and be my peace Hi, Ray, man, bless and tins, Rutai. Yes, yes, yes. That's David Oscar putting me in that mood. <laughs> All right, so uh, Dance Hall also seems to be having something new on the block. Okay, so Samini and Shatawale, uh, it's been speculated that the duo are going to come up with a united track. Uh, guess what that will sound like. Guess how the union will be like. Uh, of course, this will be a big news for the Ghana dancehall music industry. Well, let's listen to Samini and Shatawale. What exactly they have been up to? Yes, the two waged what could be passed as the fiercest war of wars in Ghana's music industry over who is the dancehall king in Ghana. The war degenerated into personal attacks and it manifested in their music, on social media, on stage, and on air. Samini took the biggest of jabs from Shata Wale, who released a number of songs using profane and words to insult him and his family. But Samini said on an Accra base plus FM Friday that he has forgiven Shata Wale for all the direct insult he threw at him, and he is ready to open a new page this year. He said, and I quote, there is peace and unity between me and Shata Wale. Wale. The East Koki hit singer said, I forgave Shata Wale in 2015 because there's no need in keeping past hurts. Samini said he had always known Shata Wale was a good musician and he is ready to work with him any day to conquer new grounds with the Afro dancehall genre. While Samini was on air, Shata Wale was also called on phone and he confirmed that he had nothing personal against Samini and that he had always respected him. He said, and I quote, people need to know that whatever has gone on between me and Samini is nothing personal. It is all business, and so people should watch out for us this year. 
So we are, our fingers are crossed. We are just waiting patiently to see what Samini and Shatawale have up their sleeves. Uh, we've heard this over and over, okay? So maybe we haven't heard the union bits before, but the fact that uh, Samini and Shatawale ha have always been at each other is no news to us anymore. So uh, you better come up with a song to, you know, cool us and make us fall in love again, all over again with you. I have been blessed with her presence in the studio for the first time on the white carpet um I, I it really is an honor to have her because i'm talking about the multiple award-winning artist who always makes ghana proud in fact she is the next angelique kijo the world will be blessed with the world has been blessed with and proudly ghanaian she is all out promoting Ga the ghana brand which also strengthens her own brand and if if you think africa you think ghana and you want to shift your focus to the northern part of the country, there's no other name that comes up except just one, Noella Wiala. Hi, Hi. Noella. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you on the white carpet. Thank you very much. You're looking so pretty. And you now. too. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the makeup artist here did. Did some magic. Really beautiful, yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, you, you think um, people have said all manner of things about your looks. You yourself have made some admissions, but how does it feel like when you when something you're already aware of, you hear people, uh, you know, uh, exaggerating it in very negative ways? I just think they are they are just confused. <laughs> 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 I, I I since I'm aware and I, I I know I did have an idea that okay, if I cut my hair, yeah. some people will not like it. Yeah. But you can't please everybody. Of course. Some people love it. Yeah. Some guys love my haircut. I just don't like it. They say, no, I like the Wiala that I used to have the long hair. I, and they used to admire me that way. I, okay. I just say, no, I like the rough Wiala. Yeah. Now, this is my kind of woman. That's... So one man's food, another, another, another man's, man's poison. poison. So I'm always fine. It's yeah. just like I, I've, I've, I've kind of uh, expected that. So when they say it, it's like, oh, I already know you say that. So <laughs> it's a poo. Yeah. I just say a poo. A poo talk. <laughs> yeah, to all negativity. But right yeah. now, I'm just concentrating on the positive vibes. Yeah. All the good comments I have from my beautiful fans that keep supporting me. They don't even know me personally, but yeah. they look at me, they listen to my songs, and they love me, and they kind of understand what I'm about. So they just okay. keep giving me a, a, a lot of beautiful messages. And I just want to use this opportunity to say thank you. Last year was all to end with the negativity. This year, no negativity it's, it's will be. It's all yeah, It's like grab and go, girl. Yes. To yeah. hell with all those who oh, think negative. To, in fact. I mean, to heaven with all those who think yes. positive. Yes, yeah. yes. And I'm um, spirit. Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, you've come a long way, Noella. Yes. Um, you make Africa proud. You go beyond. Yours go beyond Ghana. Um, you, you went to Africa and, I mean, you did that magic. <laughs> uh, not just your winning of an award, but yes. the fact that you put up such a performance everybody in there fell in love with mm -hmm. and seriously for all the times that i've watched you on stage uh, if you uh, it feels like nah this girl is in a different spirit she is from <laughs> a different world uh, how do you gather all that energy it's just excitement and joy mm. when i'm on stage i'm not competing with anybody it's not even in my like it's not i'm not even aware okay. once i get on the stage i'm like yeah this is what i've always <laughs> loved to do okay let's do it yeah. and at that moment I'm just happy. Yeah. No, uh, I can't, nobody understand. And mm. if I'm saying it right now, people will think I'm just saying it uh, to make myself. No, but yeah. I do enjoy every time I get on the stage. Yeah. It's like uh, I'm, I'm playing in the house. Okay. Like I'm playing in front of my family. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I don't get intimidated by anything. Yeah. No matter who is sitting there big or whatever. Yeah. The only thing I give is I just kind of uh, give respect to my uh, fans and the yeah. crowd. And I read the crowd to okay adjust my performances okay. and then yeah uh, how went to hit uh -huh. yeah. went to hit and went to make a move yeah uh -huh. but when i'm on stage the stage is like my home like <laughs> <laughs> i see every yeah. stage I is mean, like you, you're, you're very free you're very expressive yeah. with your performance and mm. all um I, I i've always asked myself is it that noella feels she has that you know she's not fleshy so she can always get away with her <laughs> uh, a kind of thing that, i mean twining twerking well. and you do that seriously oh, yeah. the same thing that somebody like uh 
um, Moesha would do and it would bring him ahead well, all the trouble. That's, so do that and you get away with it. Well, that's one thing. <laughs> Being skinny with skinny bananas. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but um, that's one advantage when you are not uh, bigger down yeah. there. And I thank God. <laughs> I always say I thank God. The first person not, yes. I'm hearing thank God for not having. Oh uh, my you God! Know, for the headset. I would never do anything to get big here. Oh because, really? Uh, yeah, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's not easy. Um, imagine I was that heavy down there, and I'm wearing some things. Yeah. It would end up be like people say I saw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it wouldn't really sell, but. Here I am, what do I really have to kind of expose? It's like I can wear anything I want. That's oh, one okay. advantage of having a very tiny, slim, uh, slim uh, body and some people I, call it backside. I, and I thank my stars. I'm, I'm never doing any plastic surgery to, in, to increase any part of my body. My I'm mouth, actually my mouth enjoying is my... <laughs> opened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 because I can wear, as me to say, skimpy mm. things and you see nothing. Okay. Yeah. What, what do I have to show? So, <laughs> in a way, it's good for my um, for my career. Like, I see. Yeah, I can jump around, and, split, uh, oh my and do all those I things. I see you do all that. In fact, yeah. I, sometimes I'm like, ah, but Noella, so when they talk about some of the other artists, yeah. Miss Bell always is in trouble with one kind of appear, uh, outfit or move or something. And then Noella comes and she does it all. And nobody even remembers she did that one. Yeah, well, <laughs> she gets away with this. So it's the same thing now. Yeah, but uh, well, it's not the same in a way. You have to know your body type or yeah. shape and what will work. Mm. I'm not going to wear certain things that girls with curvy uh, you uh, body will wear. That. No, okay. no, I would. I would not even fool myself. Yeah. I would even pretend. Okay. So I wear what fits my body. Okay. If I had a bigger uh, buttocks, yeah. I I would have still wrapped it in a different Aish. way. Yeah, I oh like yeah, that. I would have. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly how to package it yeah. very well. Okay. And uh, I see other musicians with bigger, yeah. and I and I have an idea they could package it nicely, <laughs> but they're not say because they say you are too known. Yeah. But if, if uh, uh, I found myself in that mm. situation, whether bigger or smaller, I would have. It's still uh, rock oh yes, I would have in gotten style. around it. Yeah. I think, I think you, you, there's something I like about you, your party spirit. Um, it's, it's party any day when you're on stage. Oh yes. Um, uh, let, give us a gesture. here. I mean, I'm in a party mood. Oh. You, uh, you brought your uh, oh, yeah. guitar. So okay. let's just start partying. It's Saturday night. Um, we hmm. need to be in the you know spirit. Uh, we need to warm up yes. and get going. Yeah. There's a party song that everybody seems to be liking. Okay. Even though people are always pretending, oh, holy, holy, but they love it, Papa. I'm they going do. to sing. Yeah, it. let's go. <laughs> I need a man to rock my body. A big, strong man to rock my body. Huh. And if he's ugly, I don't mind. No, don't mind at all. He got that thing and I want to grind. I want to grind. I want to grind. I want to rock your body. Hmm. They love it. They do. They do. <laughs> I, you know, uh, I, I, I think you should have been off the seat and done that move you do. Oh, yeah. I, I watched you do with Jupiter and I was like, oh, God, oh, my God. This lady. Yeah. 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 But congratulations. I mean, you. Uh, you have you. carried your career to a height. Um, as as youthful and as young as you are, uh, you, you perform on stages. Um, I mean, I don't know which young person had that opportunity to perform for uh, Queen Elizabeth on her birthday at the embassy. How did that, you know, come up? How did you feel about that? Well, um, the High Commissioner read about me on the net mm. uh, during a BBC uh, interview that we did on the net, and okay. he he heard me talking where I come from mm. and all that. And he just became interested. Then he followed up on my uh, social media handles and all that. Then okay. one day I just had a direct message to say, oh, come for tea. <laughs> so I went there with my big stomach. <laughs> I see. You know what I mean? If you say tea, it's going to be a big cup. Now that... <laughs> so I went and then uh, we, 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 we had tea and we started talking. Yeah. And he said he just loved my music. Mm. And well, he'll see whatever he can do to promote Ghanaian music. He yeah. loves to promote uh, talented Ghanaian music, Artists. whatever that he can find uh, any talent. He'll do his best. And it was the Queen's birthday. And he called me yeah. and said, gave me a, a message and said, oh, would you like to sing yeah. the, uh, the British National Anthem and Ghana National Anthem and then entertain us the whole night? Wow. You and your band. I was yeah. like, huh? 
Yeah. What does the blind one if no eyes? <laughs> <laughs> First thing, so like, well, see. that's a prophet in my language. So, because I'm not going to be able to do So, yeah. I went there and uh, I sang, and it was fantastic. Yeah, and of course. I think I'll be doing it again. Ah, this, is, this is kind of my main to give that. Congratulations, girl. Yeah. Go, keep going. That was great. Uh, but, you, you, I hear you have your movie. Well, it's not my. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I was just uh, one Featured. of. Yeah. Okay, but now I'm curious. What is this about musicians who now venturing into movie acting? Hmm. What's 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 the similarity? What's okay. the similarity? Okay. Um, for me, um, I was called because the look, the haircut, hmm. my face. Well, are you going to act in the role <laughs> of um, uh, Grace Jones? <laughs> Maybe kind of because okay. uh, when you watch the movie, mm. you understand why they probably asked me to. Okay. Yeah, and, and I heard the director was like, "I want Wiala. I ah, want that girl in my how movie." Much, how much are they paying for that? Oh, that one is. <laughs> <laughs> we decided not to say it. In no artist <laughs> wants to be, become clean about figures. Oh, know you know, why. sometimes you say it and then <laughs> somebody there, there, else There's another artist coming after you. I'll ask him questions <laughs> concerning money, and I'm sure he will give me an excuse. He won't no, mention no, no. the figures. Sometimes you give your word, and when okay. you sign, you have to also keep your word. Uh, okay, this is the amount we're going to pay, whether huge, small, whatever. You just sign and you keep it quiet, like nobody is supposed to know about that. And you have to be professional about it. <laughs> so I, I don't, see. Yeah, but I but but it, it was fun. I yeah. I, I acted Dumini. Was it Dumuni? Dumuni. Dumuni. Very oh. angry, uh, trying to. Uh, to avenge his father, yeah. At the same time, revenge, and she's really frustrated. The whole town is chaos, and she's just like um, looking for trouble, like not like looking for trouble, but trying to solve the problem with violence. But at the end of the day, you realize that something else is happening. Yeah. So what will she do? Mm. So it's like war and peace. Okay. But yeah. No, so it's mix mix. If I say too much, they will, they, they, the okay. producer say, "Hey, you are talking, Papa. You are talking. Papa. Let them come and watch." <laughs> yeah. So okay, you see we'll, me all. We will be there. Yeah. We will. But be one watching. thing I can say though is, when you watch this video movie, yeah. and you are planning to date me, eh? Uh. Be careful because if you try to cheat, I won't be chopping your money. I'll be chopping things. <laughs> So you have to watch the movie. Uh, does that you suggest you was dating? <laughs> oh, I'm dating. Okay. I'm dating. But that was just to tease them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just to tease yeah. them. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say who I'm dating because, you see, it's there's no there ring. Uh -huh. ah, so, so I'm still she's available. Oh, ah, yeah. Mm, that's I a warning to... to the one who thinks oh, yeah, dating you. Yes. Yeah. You better put a ring on it before <laughs> it's too late. Ah. He's, 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 so all my trash room boys are my rest. I'm still available. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. um, but you also have a new track. Um, yes. what, what, what is this, and how is it going to hit us this year? Um, are, are you gearing yourself towards VGMA? Well, unfortunately, this year I won't be entering. Okay. Uh, because I don't have any. Uh, mm. I didn't uh, release anything, anything new that will qualify the for, the year, year. for this okay. year. But this year, mm. I will be firing bullets. Hey. Positive ones, for them. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. So it's like unstoppable. Yes. Yeah. Because I did some collabs uh, last year. Uh, I mean, f um, myself and other people. Okay. For me, I don't use feature. I always say, Wiala and Nziki from South Africa. Wiala okay. and um, Diazim from Zimbabwe. Okay. And I have other ones too. And most of these songs will be coming with videos. Okay. So this year is like, I'm ready. Hey. So the whole gang you should just <laughs> hey, watch out. Yo. Yo, grab and go. Yes. It just, Nothing is unstoppable. Yes. And I'm coming with a lot of songs. Okay. Don't. Are they party speak. songs, slow songs, oh, inspirational songs? What kind of songs are um, they? I'll say more of party. But, um, so like girls, what are you sitting there with? Let's start partying now. <laughs> more party, but with um, more lovey dovey yeah. and all that. So uh, for the next two minutes, <laughs> yes. let's party five songs in two minutes. Is that possible? Five songs. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's see Let how see that goes. Can... Let's hey, see. Yeah, party yeah. songs, man. <laughs> I have to start from the top. Uh, with the I'm going to be on my feet and be dancing. Okay. You can also be on your feet to play and dance. If okay. you get into the spirit. Yes. Mm. So let's go. So, it's party time. I'm going to sing one new song that I have I have not released. So this okay. is the first one. This is the first. Uh, yeah. Okay. I it's kind of party, but the others you've already 
that's okay just uh -huh. mix it up for us we so let me start with the ones you already know so I'll, okay um, i'll make it quick okay this one is um We cover it all in blood. Tell me why we were low in the mud. Africa, 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 hey, Mama Africa, we cry for peace. Tinamba, Tinamba, what? Tinamba, so Tinamba, Jenko, no. For your love. Ah, okay. And it goes like this. This is the first time I'm playing for a bomb. Forgive. <laughs> for your love, for your love. Oh, I will do anything for your love. Yes, I will do anything for your love. When you hold me. It feels so good, I never want you to let go I would do anything to be in love with you Cause I, I love you so nice to party it's just so nice to party but guess what noella is out with a video for anything for your love and this is the first time they know they know leno is the new video leno yes. okay so leno is the new video noella is premiering on monday but guess what she chose to do that right here on the white carpet so i present to you her latest video leno which is the first time it's receiving an airplay right here on the white carpet enjoy when we come back we have trick magic who is also standing by to hit you with lots of party tonight tonight it's all about partying so get yourself ready you don't know what you're in for yet get yourself ready so that is leno from noella we are love from one award-winning artist we come to another award-winning artist he's bigger than his name and uh, he, he's up with lots of projects and quite recently I remember he was made an ambassador for um, the UN pro, uh, I think end poverty something well he was helping to feed the poor and those in need and he will tell us a bit more about that and of course he's up with another project he just keeps working on projects 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 I wonder how, how many musicians can be working on their song and be working on projects as well all right so I I'm talking about no other person but our own guy who smokes a lot of God. When I ask him, <laughs> what do you smoke to get on stage? He said, I smoke a lot of God. I'm talking about Trigmatic. Hi, Trigmatic. Hi. Welcome to the White Carpet. Thank you, yeah. thank you, thank you. you you're shining. You're looking thank so you. fresh. You look amazing. Oh, I'm blushing underneath my thick black skin. Can you see? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, Trig, okay, so what's new? There's always something with you. Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. new? Well, what's new now is the brand new single with um, Stoneboy. Okay. Um, and then you, later on in the year, yes, like you said, we we'll, we'll have we we'll have a couple of projects. We have the Slam Invasion project. Okay. And then uh, the Matic Woman project as mm. well. And uh, maybe this February, I'll be partnering again with Traff okay. to do um, a, a medical screening project mm. in Takrade. And then we might just do another water project this year. Okay, so this single with Stoneboy, um, give us a gist and then we, we pick the conversation from there. 
Okay, um, you want me to talk about the song or sing, you want me to sing, sing something? Give us, give us a, you, you love to rap. Did you sing or you rap? I, I sang in the song. Okay, so <laughs> sing for us. Let's hear. Okay. We've been partying a lot on the white carpet tonight. I see. <laughs> Nobody enough you know I can yeah. Say me how you touch and ting. I love your bed way. I love your bed way. Ooh, ooh. Nobody no know I can yeah. Say me how you touch and ting. I love your bed way. I love your bed way. Ooh, ooh. Stone boy, boy. She love my work, so she employ. Ploy. Now be the vibe she they enjoy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey Charlie, this year, dear, it's going to be serious. It's going to so be serious, eh? Don't give BGM too much work to do because, see, we won't know which one to choose from. Um, uh, of, of, so we, we'll be looking at the, um, what, what are you aiming at? Are well, the awards? Well, are you um, thinking this, awards? This year's VGM is, uh, I'm not, I'm not. You I'm, also, are, I'm, are you I'm out just, of the calendar yeah, year? Yeah, I'm, So 2016, 2017, 2017 what are we talking yeah, about? That was going to hey, be a, a competitive year, Charlie, 2017. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I mean, you listen to Noella. Yes, I did. Mom, am I in competition style? I'm a high When there's too much quality, uh, you know, quality provided, mm. um, you get confused at the, along the way. I know, I okay. know. So, Trick, um, you have worked with Stoneboy. You've yeah. worked with a lot of other artists. artists. Yeah. Um, do you believe in this assertion that in the industry there isn't a, there's kind of pullback, pull down? Among well, each I other? think it's everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. But maybe because we're Ghanaians and because we live here, yeah. we feel it more, you know. But it's, 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 it's there. It's, mm. it's in every other industry as well, not okay. just the music industry. I'm sure, um, you know, in certain offices, somebody wants to be the ma uh, managing director. Another mm. person wants it. Uh, it becomes a problem, yeah. you know. So the pull down the edge, Charlie, is everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Every it's every, pass. Yeah, it's everywhere. Mm. But um, yes, you're right. In the music industry, it is because I can talk more because I'm in the music industry. I can okay. talk more about that. Yeah. I know it's there. Um, I've, I've been a victim and I'm sure other musicians have also been victims as well. Uh, we wish it wasn't there, but mm. Charlie, it's human life. You know, yeah. everybody wants to get to the top. It. You can't help it. Okay. So um, yours is a latest track. And mm. of course, coupled with the projects, would you want to give us an idea of the projects, what they are about? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a, a track supposed to come off the Matic album, mm. and uh, the Matic album, which is Melodies Awakening the Inactive Conscience, mm. um, is supposed to be a very alternative album. But uh, we added some of these few very commercial, um, you know, jam jams, so that the fans can also have a feel of the uh, um, the the usual trigmatic, you know. So. Yes, this, this this one, look out for the video as well, coming mm. pretty soon. I'm sure we're going to put it here. You better you know? do that first. Yes, it must yes, be it's going to be here. It's first airplay right here. Yes, it's partly done. We're waiting for Stoneboy is coming back from a trip. Okay. And then we do Stoneboy's part, and then okay. you know, we give it out there yeah. for the fans. But in the meantime, they can enjoy it online, mm. and it's on radio as well. Yeah. Yeah, amazing buzz. The buzz is amazing. And then other things will follow, other songs will mm. come, other videos will come. Yeah. Um, this year you're gonna see a lot of um, sing, you're gonna get a lot of singing from me. Okay. Yes, and a uh, lot of live you, you performances. You have a very sweet voice, so Thank it's you. nice to hear you sing. Thank and we look you. forward to that. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay, so let me let me just put you in this fix a bit. Mm. You are in the music industry, you know what goes on among your, your colleagues. Yeah. Shatawale and Samini, there's a speculation that the two are coming together to unite and give a song what do you mm. make of that well I, i'll be glad to see that mm. i think it will be exciting i don't know if it's a business strategy mm. but if it is then they are smart you know <laughs> um i i if it's for peace then it's amazing because Apart from the two artists, they have fans, and their fans also tend to do the same things that they do. Yeah. So if, we, if they see these two come together, it will be you know a bigger unification. It will be it wouldn't be just you know between the two artists, but yeah. their fans will also be like, okay, Shata and Samini are cool now, yeah. so we don't need to. Because I remember one of the events when you know Samini you know came with his people and everything. <laughs> Shata also came with his people, and somebody scratched my car, you know, because everybody you know it was very. No, okay. But now, if tensions are calm and they want to come together, I think it's a, it's a, it's a great move. We, we all want this to happen yeah. in the industry. So Okay, so in the music industry, it's either you, you're doing a lot of women to keep you going, or you're smoking, or you're sniffing, or you're drinking. 
Apart from God, what mm. else keeps you going? Wow. Uh, God, man. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> it's, 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 Apart it's, from God, obviously God it's, it's does the, it. He always is wonderful to all mm. of us. Apart from God, what else keeps you going? The church. You church know, is still God. No, ch- not everybody that goes to church has a relationship with God. I, I, because I spent maybe... 70 percent if not 80 percent of my life in a church you know doing what every i'm, I'm a church leader so mm. what um, church is this potter's family chapel okay so i might as well just you know pay attention play my role make sure that yes because because if you am if i'm able to give to the world i need to be able to yeah. give you know to my father's house and um aside that you know, i'm trying to think of something but mm. Nothing really pops up. What keeps me going? Maybe life. You know, I want to see people happy. Okay. You know, and you can. For the past five years, we, I've done so many projects that I don't even put out. Mm-hmm. You know, all is aimed at you know making people happy, from okay. villages to um, other communities to you know giving people water, food. Yeah. You know, like we did food for all. We did the longest charity table. It wasn't for myself. Okay. You know, it was for the people on the streets who always yeah. jam and shout and scream. The people have taken off the streets. Mm -hmm. There are people like young Ghanaians who are doing things for themselves like shoes, like my shoes are made in Ghana. You know, my land of gold shoes. I've I've been working. All my shoes are made in Ghana. Thank you. Made in Ghana. That's that's very nice. Very cute. Thank you. You know, they make for ladies also. Yeah, they make for ladies as well. Heels. If you want flats, we can make it. I don't want flats. I want heels. You want heels? Okay, cool. So I'll get you one. It's on me. It's on me. Thank you. Give it to me. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. So, so, so uh, maybe what keeps me going is to see young people, you know, doing their thing. It gives mm. me drive to also want to okay. do more. You know, I'm, I'm tired of seeing the same things all the time. And, yeah. you know, it's like, it's like now we're really losing track mm. of, um, you know, there's no positivity. It's unsafe. You know, you don't know where your kids are going anymore. Yeah. You don't know where your little brothers are going anymore. You know, so, Charlie. Let's talk about family life. Are you married? I wish. Uh, I wish, I wish, I is wish. Is there somebody in there? Well, not yet, but I'm sure soon. Okay. I've actually told myself that I need to marry I this I told year. you are very choosy when it comes to women. Well, no, I'm not choosy with physique and all, but maybe with spirituality I am mm-hmm. a bit, you know. Um, but you, you are a leader of a church. It should yeah. be very it's simple for you to, you know, spot out one who is... <laughs> like because, girls in the church? Yeah. No, 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 I'm, fo- I'm but focusing on But you are a leader of things. a church and there are women <laughs> in there. Yeah. If you can't spot out a spiritual woman in there, then what are we... No, I'm not, I'm not, maybe I'm not, I'm not looking inside my church. Why are you looking you outside know? the church? Right now, I'm just focusing on all that things. What if is I it? Meet, the church is if, guarded. If I you meet, go out and bring... No, I want to meet the you person. You spend 70% of your time in church mm. and you can't spot out from your church because my, and you're still looking outside. Because I haven't fixed... <laughs> no, I haven't fixed... No, I'm not looking outside. Uh, I'm actually not looking anywhere. When I are just, you going to get married? I want to marry this year. Ah, which date? Give us a date. <laughs> First, I pick twin. It says Jude. So if I find a woman, <laughs> <laughs> a woman who's who's ready to to you know come to, to come along with it, a short time, time. Ah, yeah. But if she's not, we might just do it on my birthday, thirteenth um, of December. Ah, so uh, it's, a mid, it's either half of the year. Look at me speaking for other people. <laughs> No, no, but but this year, yeah, I really wanted to marry this year. I, I started saying it, you know, way back that by the time I'm a certain age, yeah. and uh, this year I'm getting there, and I feel like, oh, I need to, mm. you know. What age is that? We'll talk about that off air. <laughs> <laughs> but aren't you on, aren't you on um, Wikipedia? Are you on Wikipedia? I, I, I think my information are, uh, is on, I'm sure. So if your information is on Wikipedia, what stops you from saying it yourself? Um, How old are yeah, you? Yeah, but they could go find it then. <laughs> <laughs> you are not shy to but put I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even shy to put on my age. I was 31 last month. Okay. Um, December, right? Yes, yeah, December. Last yes. month, so I should be 32. Okay. Uh, this month. Uh, that's that's fine. just a ripe age for a man. Exactly. Yeah. I actually said 31. Okay. I should, I should okay. get married yeah. and, and have a child. Uh, I planned my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good to plan your life. Very yeah. important. Yeah. God bless those who plan ahead. Yes. Yes. You don't yes. wait for God will do, God will do. No, God no, bless no. You those need to plan. It, yes. Exactly. Because he's giving you wisdom. Exactly. Plan your life. Exactly. Your beard. Um, What's in there? Is that where your, your uh, powers are? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Like, so when I stroke it like this, I know. Hey, yeah. what does happen? But, but you know, the, the beard thing is, 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 is I, 
I just like I just like it because uh, you know God has taken my, the hair on my head, so I might as well just keep the one on my beard. You know, <laughs> I I I love it. I love to keep okay. the beard, you know, yeah. and, and when it gets shiny and everything. Yeah. But you never know. I might just pull up a stunt. I might just shave it all off. Oh, you know, one day. one of these days. I'm trying to. You already have stripped you off your beard and seeing your watching your face. Watching my face, mm, just like mm. you do to the women when you mm. see them and you strip them in. Oh, that's what they do? I don't know. That's what they do to you? I, I don't know. I don't know. Can you imagine, I like, think know. about all the people in the room, the cameraman <laughs> thinking about you in that way? <laughs> strip it, strip it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hear this. <laughs> anyway, um, trick. We're just wrapping it up. Um, mm. But is there any message you want to put out there? We love you, but mm. what do you also have for us? I, I love you guys, too. Um, I love you guys. I, I think it's about time <clears throat> that... Um, we as Ghanaians, you know, become one people. We need to start supporting our art. We need to bring music back. It's not as if music is gone, but I, I, I'm, I'm advocating for music to come back into our educational system. Now, check this. Last time I was doing an analysis, and I'm going to say really short before okay. I go. I was doing, and, and I realized that, you know what? Until parents begin to realize that the closest or the only people their children are learning from are us you know yeah. they would fail yeah. because they need to start paying attention to the arts to the musicians Very true. your child is on the phone downloading my music if it's crap music he has all that information in his mind you're either going online youtube we are the people they meet at first hand yeah. every child want to dress like papi kojo or yeah. joey b or something is because music is powerful it's because uh, being a celebrity is a big deal you yeah. understand so if they don't pay attention to us we might just drift and their children will drift, mm. you know, so be positive. And also we're in uh, election year. Yeah. It's about peace. It's about one love. It's about unity. Let's make it happen. Go and download Bedu and enjoy it in a peaceful way, yeah. you know, featuring uh, Stone Boy. And also you can follow me Twitter as Trigmatic Rocks on Facebook, Trigmatic 233, Instagram, Trigmatic Official and uh, other places, Trigmatic Official. Okay, so you had your Trigmatic. Uh, <laughs> Um, your shades, mm. is it celebrity pressure that makes you wait in the night or is, um, well, exactly? uh, these are standards. They're not really like, um, they are, they are, they're flashy. They're not okay. for really necessarily like, you know, for the sun. It's, it's, it's a Dolce and Gabbana. You can, okay. you can give it a okay. try though. Okay. You can check okay. it out and, you know, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's okay. Yeah. You, yeah. you look great in them though. I do. Yes, I you do, do look oh, great in okay. them. Okay, let's see, let's take a <laughs> uh, Oh, David, take me, lad. David, take me. Take me in my shades, yes. <laughs> that, that sounded funny though. Take me. Take me, really? <laughs> All right, Trigmatic. Thank All right. you so much for your you're, time. You're it really, welcome. really has been a you're welcome. spending yes, time it's with been you. Great. It's Thank been you great. for coming. I appreciate sure. it. And of course, Ethel made this conversation very, very possible. Ethel, uh, Ethel says that um, they are catering for all your conversation for as long as you want to stay on the phone with that lovely person, you have all the secrets, you do all the gossips, uh, talk as much, don't talk too much pack, do it, uh, just talk, talk without thinking, talk without worrying, because your need, your conversational uh, talk time is taken care of by Airtel. <laughs>
Red Carpet was brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network.